hello Andrea um I've got your task two question here on whether or not it should be illegal for employees to reject people applying for a job based on age criteria um I've had a look through already it's great you've got some really good language in here and um, some really accurate sentences so that is perfect um clearly you're working very hard on these so that is good um perfect let's have a bit of a look through um what you've got and do some feedback on this okay so the issue of adopting age criteria to select people applying for a job has grown in importance over the last 20 years especially in western societies good start well done accurate sentence there um and you've clearly shown that you understand the question is good uh, recently, the laws of some states make it illegal to discriminate on the basis of age. Good. However, some believe that employers should have the right to reject older people. Well done. Good. Personally, I firmly believe that there should not be any restrictions based on age. This essay will analyse both sides, using examples from the US military and the Norwegian government to demonstrate points and prove arguments. Well done. That is a very good introduction. Okay. Um, you've started by outlining the question, describing what the problem is. And um, then you've moved in to your opinion about it and then said what you will do in the essay. We could argue that perhaps um, we could use our opinion in the conclusion rather than in the introduction so that it develops throughout the essay but uh, that's really kind of down to um where you prefer to use it and i think in this essay it's, it's done very well okay um so first paragraph on the one hand so we're just missing an e at the end of one there on the one hand okay so on the one hand there is ample evidence um, that uh, age can influence workers productivity good especially in specific types of jobs well done you've stated your point here which is making this paragraph really clear uh, just to recap just make sure that you put the e on the end of on the one hand okay the main reason behind that is twofold Good. Firstly, labour jobs are physically demanding and they could become dangerous for older people with slow reflexes or health problems. We could say here instead of slow, slower reflexes because we're, we're not using a specific age. So um, we're using the idea that they become slower as you get older. Okay, so older people with slower reflexes or health problems. Secondly, even young people can be potentially inadequate for certain jobs. In fact, they could lack the sufficient amount of experience needed for leading a team. Okay, good. Um, I'd maybe think a little bit about this word inadequate. Because um, inadequate here means useless. Um, or kind of doesn't meet the criteria. Um, and then we're saying that uh, needed for leading a team. So maybe be a little bit more specific here. So um, uh, secondly, even young people could be potentially lacking in skills needed for certain jobs, for example. Um, good. Consistent with this line of thinking is the example provided by the US military, which has specific age requirements for the army the maximum age is 35 for the air force maximum age allowed to join is 39 years old okay therefore it is conclusively clear that age can influence significantly the ability to perform certain jobs okay well done you've used a really concrete example here um so uh using the army and the air force Arguably, you could perhaps go into a little bit more detail. So what is it about those jobs that means that um, people under 35 or under 39 are not suitable for them? Um, so, for example, is it due to fitness? Is it due to health, etc.? So maybe just make that very clear in that example there. Okay, um, next one. 
On the other hand, even if there is a case for age influencing work effectiveness in spe specific contexts, the importance of avoiding any sort of discrimination cannot be overstated. Okay, um, good. The vocabulary that, that's causing it to become a, a little bit clumsy here is work effectiveness. Um, so on the other hand, even if there is a case for age influencing effectiveness at work in specific contexts, the importance of avoiding any sort of discrimination cannot be overstated. Uh, this is largely because it is ethically wrong to reject people before testing them personally just because of their age of birth, um, just because of their date of birth. Okay. Uh, so their date of birth, D-A-T-E, date of birth. Furthermore, in most cases, age is just a number. It's just a number. And people can perform at high levels independently of their age. Instead of independently here, um, I would suggest using the word regardless. Okay, so can perform at high levels or can perform at a high level regardless of their age. Uh, this viewpoint is echoed by a recent study by the Norwegian Medical Council which showed that among health professionals there is not a significant correlation between age and productivity at work. Well done, fantastic. Thus it is possible to state beyond doubt, beyond, B-E-Y-O-N-D, beyond doubt, that there is no major reasons to discriminate people based on age criteria. Good, okay, well done. And then on to your conclusion. To conclude from the examples and arguments given, I firmly agree that making ING it illegal to discriminate on the basis of age is a positive development. However, age criteria should exist just for few specific labour jobs in order to protect workers' health. Okay, well done. This is a really, really strong piece of work. Um, you've done really well here. Um, there are not that many things to change. And if they are, they're, they're kind of more advanced errors. So um, changing words for, for possibly one that's slightly more specific. So, for example, that word regardless of age etc but yeah a fantastic piece of work you should definitely be really proud of yourself and um, it's showing lots of improvement so really really well done